our purpose for going was to really get a fulsome understanding of exactly what transpired, all the relevant details in terms of when it happened, who were the various children involved, um, what role the school administration played or should have played, also what really got the mother motivated to do as she's alleged to have done, which resulted in her arrest. And our perspective, of course, is to determine what interventions need to be made on behalf of the children in the matter. The victim is a child of tender years, and it is alleged that the boys who also are on the other side of the fence, which is the ones who did it, are also young children. So we want to see what motivated the act and how to intervene in relation to all these children. If it is that the boys have, let's say, cognitive developmental issues which affect the way they operate and the way they interact in a social space, then you'd have to look at what needs to happen to bring them up to a particular level or to put them in an environment that they can properly function. Um, It could be that they need specially trained persons to deal with them to curb what may be the manifestation of antisocial behavior which is coming about because they have cognitive um, issues. Um, It could be that it's not cognitive, but it has to do with socialization in the home. So there could be um, an intervention that would need to be made at that level. It could be that they too need counseling support to guide them in determining what's appropriate, what's not. So it really is a wide range of possibilities which have all to be targeted based on what we find.